You're looking at JAM 2019 physics examination, question number 21. An aeroplane lands on a runway at a speed of 180 km per hour and is brought to a stop uniformly at 30 seconds. What distance does it cover on the runway before coming to rest? For us to solve this problem, let's look at the parameters that we have been given. We have an initial velocity, U, to be 0 km per hour, and that's 0 m per second. We have our final velocity to be 180 km per hour and that will give us 50 meters per second. The simple way to convert that is 180 times 1000 all over 60 times 60. Our time is 30 seconds. We're going to be using the equation S is equal to V plus U all over 2 multiplied by T. And that will simply give us 50 plus 0 over 2 multiplied by our T which is 30. That will give us 50 times 30 all over 2. This should be 1500 divided by 2 and that's 750 meters so our answer is option d let's look at question 22 of the jam 2019 physics examination in the circuit diagram calculate the current in the 12 ohms if the cell has an emf of 12 volts and an internal resistance of 1 ohms in this question we are required to calculate our current we have been given an EMF of 12 volts and an internal resistance symbolized by small arrow of 1 ohms. So our formula is E is equal to I multiplied by big arrow plus small arrow. This is simply the EMF. This is current. This is our resistance of the cell and this is for the circuit rather. And this is our internal resistance of the cell. So if we make I our current the subject of the formula we're going to be having i is equal to e all over big arrow plus small arrow so for us to calculate the value of our big arrow we're going to be using this formula 1 over arrow is equal to 1 over 12 plus 1 over 6 this is because the 12 ohms and the 6 ohms um, resistors are connected in parallel so that's going to give us 1 over 4 our arrow will simply be 4 so our current given by E L over big R plus small R will simply be 12 all over 4 plus 1, our internal resistance. That's going to be giving us 12 over 5 and that is 2.5 amperes. Question 23 of the JAM 2019 physics examination. The value of T in the diagram is, um, this question we're going to be using the formula T cos 30 degrees plus T cos 30 degrees is equal to 20 newton. That is, the total vertical force is equal to the total force acting downwards. And so if we simplify this, we're going to be having 2T cos 30 degrees is equal to 20 newton. And so the value of our T becomes 20 all over 2 cos 30 degrees. That's simply 20 all over 1.7. And our T becomes 11.8 Newton. I guess this was helpful. We are looking at JAM 2019 physics examination, question number 24. At what respective values of X, Y, and Z would the unit of force, the Newton, be dimensionally equivalent to M raised to the power X, L raised to the power Y, and T raised to the power Z? Correct answer to this question is option C, which is 1, 1, and minus 2. Let's look at that. We have our force to be mass times acceleration, which is change in velocity over time here yeah? so we have mass here in kg we have our length in meters and our time in seconds so if we look at this carefully we're going to be having m raised to the power one l raised to the power one and t raised to the power minus two and that will give us one one or minus two according to their powers you're looking at question 25 of the jam 2019 physics examination a 500 watt heater is used to heat 0.6 kg of water from 25 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius in 31 seconds. If another 1000 watt heater is used to heat 0.2 kg of water from 10 degrees Celsius to 8 degrees Celsius in 32 seconds, find the ratio of T1 to T2. The correct answer to this question is option D, which is 5. Let's look at how we got that. We're going to be using the formula PT, that is power times time, is equal to mass times change in temperature. So, making T our subject of formula, we're going to be having T is equal to M change in theta all over P, where we have our parameters given here. So, when our power is 500 watts, going to be having our T1 to be 0 0.6 times 75 over 500 and that will give us 0 0.09 seconds. 
Same thing applies to our T2. When our power is 1000 watts, we are going to be having T2 to be 0 0.2 times 90 all over 1000. So that will give us 0 0.018 seconds. So the ratio of T1 to T2 will simply be 0 0.09 all over 0 0.018. That will give us 5 seconds. That corresponds to option D. Question 26 of the JAM 2019 physics examination is what you're looking at. The diagram shows a magnet with this south pole moved along a soft iron bar PQ in the direction as shown. After some time, the poles at Q respectively are generally the magnetic field produced by an electric current is always oriented perpendicular to the direction of the current flow. The direction of the current will determine the north and south pole and the current moves from pole P to pole Q as we are looking at in the diagram. So it will be north and south pole respectively. You are looking at question 27 of the JAM 2019 physics examination. A gas would serve as an electrical conductor under... Generally, gases are poor conductors, that is, they don't have free electrons to carry current. But under reduced pressure and a high voltage, they can conduct electricity. So the correct answer to this question is option C, which is reduced pressure and high current. Question 28 of the JAM 2019 physics exams. If current flows in the direction of the arrows in the solenoid, as shown in this diagram, the north pole is at the arrow lines could be said to be magnetic field lines and magnetic field lines obey the rule of north-south movement so they actually begin at the north pole and end at the south pole so our north pole here could be located at the p-axis over here question 29 of the jam 2019 physics examination the magnetic force on a charged particle moving with velocity is proportional to Correct answer to this option is option C. It is proportional to both the magnitude of the charge of the velocity V. We can see from equation 1 that our force is proportional to our charge, velocity, and magnetic strength. And in equation 2, we have our force to be proportional to the charge and the velocity. So, this corresponds to our option C, which is the force is proportional to both the magnitude of the charge and not that of the velocity. Question 30 of the JAM 2019 physics examination. The eye controls the amount of light reaching the retina by adjusting in humans and other mammals. The iris is responsible for controlling the amount of light reaching the retina. So the correct answer to this question is option D, which is the iris.